So, James, uh, thanks for talking to Microscopy and Analysis. Uh, you've been showing a couple of new detectors this week and indeed some new software to go with them. Could you tell us a bit about them, please? So, this week we've launched our uh, Ultim Max range of detectors. So, what Ultim Max is, is it's combining the largest area SDD sensors with the improved electronics that we developed through our XMAX Extreme platform that provides really, really high sensitivity, really high throughput, allowing people to do their EDS faster and be more sensitive while they're doing it. Um, in order to uh, really show that performance, and the one thing that it has enabled us to do is launch something called Aztec Live. This is our new way of doing EDS in the SEM. So instead of it being a serial process where you would stop, take an image, take an EDS map, and then start the process again, we're now combining the electron imaging, the spectrum, the EDS mapping, all at the same time, and making it live. So as you see, as you move around the sample, you'll see the X-ray maps updating in real time, and therefore you can look at the chemical or spatial distribution of elements as you move around the sample. As well as that, we've added a new feature called the live trace. So as you move around the sample, um, under the hood of the uh, software, it's identifying what elements you've seen or you, you maybe didn't see in the maps, but actually you saw in the spectrum, and it's uh, putting those with the locations that you spotted. So you can go over to the live trace and say, oh, wait a minute, I didn't see uh, that uranium as I was wandering around the sample. You can click on that uranium, go back to that position where it was detected and start doing your x-ray mapping. So it allows you to find features that you didn't know were in your sample and it allows you to do everything in real time. So who is likely to benefit most from this, this technology? So, um, the, especially Aztec Live, um, it's very beneficial to people that are looking to confirm their analysis. So uh, a lot of customers that we had were looking at failure analysis, or looking over a sample and wanting to get an idea of the whole sample. Maybe they go to one area and say, okay, this is what it looks like, and then that's it, the end of their analysis. What this allows us to do is get a really big picture of their sample. So if they're looking for certain failures or they're looking for small particles, then as they move around, they see these things and they can track it. Um, and that really gives them a full picture. The live trace as well, that lets you know where you've been on your sample. So if there's actually an area of your sample that you haven't been, you can see that. And that means that you can then go into that area and get the information from there. So you actually get a much more um, detailed a much better confirmation of exactly what your sample looks like over the large area. Okay, great. And can you tell us uh, about the Ultim Extreme detector? So the Ultim Extreme is the latest iteration of our Extreme platform. So the Extreme is a very specialized detector. What we've done is we've done everything we can possibly do to optimize that detector to work at what people would probably have as their imaging conditions on a high-end uh, FE sim. So you want to go to very low voltage to get very high spatial resolution. The Ultimate Extreme is optimized to do that. We have a very large sensor, 100 millimeter squared. And it's also windowless, so we're very sensitive to light, uh, light elements, low energy x-rays, which allows us to map smaller features, lighter elements, and understand really the nano structure of a sample in the SEM, where typically you may have had to go to a TEM previously. Okay, excellent. And um, would that have applications also in the life science uh, biology uh, sort of cryo? So, yeah, the one thing that as you remove this x-ray window, you become very sensitive to things like nitrogen, phosphorus, even things like chlorine, sulfur, um, that really opens up the possibilities of using EBS in uh, biological specimens. Uh, there's actually been a couple of talks here this week uh, doing just that, spectrum imaging using EBS, and yeah, there's some really, really nice results starting to come out. And as long as you can get your sample preparation right, you can get really, really what you might call multicolor uh, SEM imaging using high sensitivity detectors like the Ultimate Extreme. Excellent. All right. Well, that sounds fantastic. Uh, sounds good for the future. 
Um, best of luck with it, and uh, if people want more information, I'm guessing they can come to the website. Yeah, so our new website for our product is uh, www.oxins.com slash Brilliant. Okay, well, have a great rest of the show, and a safe journey home. Thank you.